I can't think of a better way to start off this show than one of Austin's own, a man who wields a flamethrower as a guitar. Are y'all ready for this? Make some noise for Eric Kasper! Check mine and I can't pretend Well she's been running the show since I don't know where Feels like I'm hypnotized She's got my hands bow tied And now it's moving too fast for me to comprehend She's put the dreaming on me Control was an ancient chemistry Just put more dreaming on One step behind everywhere she goes She keeps the name on my lips and me on my toes well, this girl is magnetized She holds my hands and eyes And now it's moving too fast for me to take it slow She's put the dreaming on me I've got no will to break free Her kind of mind control is an ancient chemistry Just put more dreaming on
How you doing, Austin? I want everything but me to change But I don't want to be the way I am I hold my trouble so close The only thing that I won't let go I just want to feel good so bad I can see it starting to spin I can feel my walls closing in Watch your days waste away Till there's nothing left of me Nothing can hurt me now It started out as just fun and games But uh, now it pays for keeps You can't fall when you're already down I'm the king of self-doubt With my eyes were back and my insides out The only place I feel I belong All my feelings gone numb I wait around but the end won't come I wonder what's taking so long I can feel my world caving in You can see it dragging me in All systems gone to code And my feet don't reach the ground Somehow it feels different this round A little problem got out of control Now I'm like a setting sun You can't fall when you're already down
Thank you. You're not around to see them Well, soon enough, though You're gonna know just the same From the lost and found To you coming around to a call Well, you'll be thinking Please, baby, come back is my name Crystal ball My mind was blank and I start to fall This lonely boy will find no shelter from a little misfortune teller Fortune teller, babe Well now you heard what she said And your cards are red But you laughed well, funny thing though, ain't nobody laughing now Well, cause we're dead at a time She poisoned my mind until I cried Well, pretty baby, why you wanna bring me down? Well, dark clouds in a crystal ball I crossed my heart and she read my Shelter from a little misfortune teller, fortune teller, babe. much I want for talking on the mic, but damn, y'all look really, really good. 
I have a quick Austin announcement to make. This is an amazing venue in Austin. I've always wanted to play here. This is amazing. But I also have to announce that an amazing Austin venue that's been around for all time is closing down, Thread Gills. I just want to let y'all know, before anybody, that we're playing a last show there on October 26th. So please, come on out and party with us.
for Slash Miles Kennedy and the computers. Thank you. How y'all doing? I'm trying to get my... I can't see anything yet. Hold on a second, y'all. So, um, thank y'all for watching. Uh, I'm here in Austin, Texas in my rehearsal space. And, um, man, that just made me miss playing live so much more than I already did. Um, I got a couple announcements to make. Um, one is if you live in Houston or Austin, uh, you actually have a chance to see us play live very soon because um, we worked out a few socially distanced hopefully safe shows. Um, obviously there's the, um, how do I say it? Uh, possibility if the COVID thing gets way, way worse. We'll have to cancel the shows. But as of right now, uh, November 20th, Houston, we'll see you at Rockefellers. Um, and then, uh, the 21st and 22nd, which is a Saturday and Sunday, we're at Antone's here in Austin. Um, both shows are, um, all three shows I should say are seated, um, distanced out a little bit. And I believe all three shows will have, uh, food with the ticket. So the ticket's going to be a little bit more. It's how we're working around this whole, whole thing so that it's not upside down for anybody. Um, and we'll have, oh yeah, we'll have Sam Houston opening for us. Uh, if you're not familiar with Sam Houston and his music, he is killer and he will be the food. He actually has a food company. Um, he makes absolutely incredible soul food. And, um, it's kind of funny because just recently, uh, I was discussing dream jobs because I already have one. Uh, and I was trying to think of other dream jobs that I would have. And, uh, I figured that maybe, a, a judge at a, um, fried chicken contest and he makes killer fried chicken. He makes awesome soul food. It's my favorite kind of food. So don't miss it. I mean, even if you don't like us, I mean, I know some guy on uh, Facebook earlier today uh, commented that watching this concert would be his idea of hell, which I don't really know why he had to weigh in on that, but to each his own, takes all the kinds. But uh, if that's your idea of hell, then you can just at least come for the food, bring some earplugs. You should probably bring some anyway. Um, let me see. Let me see the comments here. Uh, the Antone Show. Um... The Antone Show, the tickets, uh, hopefully the link will be up tomorrow. I know that the Rockefeller in Houston show, um, Rockefeller's in Houston show, uh, the ticket link's already up. So uh, you can go to their website right now and get tickets uh, before it fills up. Um, the Antones, like I said, hopefully tomorrow they'll have it up. I know that they were having some technical problems of the day, so I don't want to send you there and have it not work. Um, so, oh. Other announcement. Um, so everything with COVID, musicians' life is way messed up, um, and you know we're all out here trying to eke out a living. Uh, 2020 was going to be like the year, like it was like the first time we really had like our ducks in a row, and everything happened. Anyway, um, that said, on March 13th, the day the world ended, uh, Nancy Wilson and I released the song. Uh, policy of truth if you haven't heard it yet you should stream it if you have heard it you should stream it and maybe put on repeat and fall asleep all right so the other thing is uh the other big announcement i have is that um 
uh, we've had some requests for this. Uh, I've had some people, I'd say, up my butt about it. But um, uh, we're going to take a stab at a Patreon uh, where you can come inside my world of my music nerdery and see guitar stuff, gear stuff, uh, live streams. Um, uh, George, our, our tech and branding guy, uh, I don't even know how to describe him. That's the best I could come off the top of my head. He's kind of like a guru who runs all this. He's actually running this remotely from uh, Philly or Delaware right now through my computer, which is a trip. But uh, he wanted me to say that this whole show that you just watched will all be available on Patreon, uh, I think, next by next week in full 1080 HD. So... Um, I guess with Patreon, we're just, it's just in the formative stages right now. It should be up and running uh, in a few days. And uh, it's patreon.com slash Eric Tesmer. Uh, hold on, let me check these things. I have to look at my phone. It's really little. That guy probably listens to Nickelback. I don't know what he listens to, really. Um, Anton's show, yeah, probably tomorrow. So um, let's see what else. Hold on. And so I also have to say in May, uh, a couple months into COVID, um, I lost my glasses. And I've had, um, no pun intended, 2020 vision uh, my whole life until like two years ago. And now I can't see shit. So I got to look at this. Okay, so um, I'm trying to think. There's some other stuff I wanted to say. Um, any reschedule it? first half. Man, I wish. So, uh, these shows that we have coming up, um, it's, it's a really weird, really weird time. And, you know, we've had a lot of opportunities, a lot of, uh, requests for us to play shows, venues asking us. Um, and it's hard to do because, hold on a second, I'm in my rehearsal space and I can hear the guys next door about to crank up. Let me shut this door. Sorry about that. I got a, a metal band next door, uh, and right now they're singing a cappella, which is weird. Um, the thing about these shows is that um, we've had a lot of opportunities, a lot of offers to play these shows, and it's you know, it's a, just a really tough time because, um, like I said, you know, you can only have so many people, um, and plus there's like the ethical standpoint of like, do I really want to get that many people into a room together? And, you know, kind of feel responsible for that type of endangerment. But um, I think we've figured out a way that we can make it work. Um, so we're just going to try it. And like I said before, if, you know, anything happens with the, the COVID numbers, then we'll just pull them. But and uh, if anybody does get sick before the show, we will refund your ticket. Don't worry. Don't come coughing at the gig. All right. Uh, hold on a second. Let me read this because my eyes... Do I still have Olive? Of course. Of course I still have Olive. Uh, Amy Thompson. Oh, yeah. First app. So that that's actually what I started out saying. Um, uh, any reschedule yet for First Ave in Minneapolis? Um, no, we don't. We're going to get there, though. Uh, the thing is, we, we're only doing these Texas shows right now because uh, to actually go out on the road, to go out on the road in a non-COVID environment is is almost a crapshoot to break even a lot of times with touring. Uh, I don't know if you all know that about touring. It's like an extremely stressful and extremely, you know, razor's edge to go on. And so it's really hard to get really far away from home in an environment like this. Mm -hmm. uh, so we haven't rescheduled it yet. When the whole atmosphere changes with the, the virus and stuff, we will definitely get back up there. Um, our booking guy is actually just waiting to do this. So, um, and we're waiting to play these shows. I mean, watching that just now, it's like, uh, I just want to play this stuff loud as shit again. Um, okay. Well, apparently my, my manager is on here and telling us that it's tentatively in May for Minneapolis. Hanks, my number one fan. All right. I love the dogs. Oh, my God. 
<laughs> oh my god. When can we expect a baby Tesmer? I actually just, uh, so my wife and I just bought a house, um, and I've got people asking me when we're gonna have a baby. Babies are really hard on guitars. We're sticking with dogs. As far as I know. So. All right, well, um, I'm trying to think. I think there was something else. Oh, first off, um, the uh, virtual tip jar. Thank you all so much. That that helps out more than you can know. Um, and there's been a lot of people who have been buying merch on our website, which is, that is awesome. Um, it helps us out. I mean, it's just, it's kind of like anything we can do right now. Um I haven't been doing as many live streams as I kind of hoped to because uh, I've been busy. We've been uh, I've been writing songs, creating a lot of stuff. Uh, we're actually in the studio right now, doing a couple different things. Hopefully, you'll be able to hear that soon. Um, let's see. Oh, I gotta say with the Patreon thing, like I'm I'm new to it. Like I'm brand new. I've, like I've got that brand new Patreon creator smell still. Um, and I will have it for a while, I'm sure. But um, one thing with the Patreon, um, as I understand it, uh, there's different tiers and stuff. Um, I don't know what our tiers are going to be. We are also thinking about just having one tier and just if you're in, you're in. But I do know that our Patreon subscribers will get um, merch discounts and first stabs at merch. Uh, we've been talking about doing like limited runs of stuff or like whatever i don't know i don't want to say too much and put my foot in my mouth but um let me see mark no <laughs> man y'all are great um does anybody have any questions i don't know mark was supposed to be here um Nothing? No questions? I think, uh, going once, twice. Yeah, uh, actually, um, San Antonio and the questions. Man, I feel like whenever I'm trying to read, I'm sorry about that. Um, uh, COVID, uh, in San Antonio. San Antonio actually is one of the places we've been talking about uh, coming and doing like a, a distance show, uh, trying to do a COVID safe thing. So there is a chance we can hit San Antonio soon. Uh, I think we will probably do it around the same time or we'll see how these shows go uh, and, and see if we want to chase that option a little bit more. We'd love to get back to, you know, at least hit our Texas, Texas towns like you know, San Antonio and Dallas, man, we're waiting to get back to Dallas, so we'll see what happens. Um, it's such a bummer to, to be a musician and, you know, having been off the road for so long now, uh, when you've been on the road your whole life and then, uh, it's like, well, I don't know if these shows are going to happen, but here they are. So uh, anyway, these shows are going to happen. Antone's on the 21st and 22nd of November, Houston on the 20th. Hold on a second. I think outdoor venues you could play at, like, scoot in. Um, yes, if we come to San, San Antonio, we'll be coming to Sam's. I mean, Sam's is our home in San Antonio. Um, we've been talking about playing some outdoor venues, uh, Peggy, um, talking about the Far Out Lounge and stuff and just seeing. But um, right now, um, to be honest, how it's working out with how the Antone show came about is... You know, there's there's several places that we can play, several venues that are hounding us to play there uh, because we're so cool. But um, mm -hmm. Antones, you know, it's like the save our stages thing. Um, with Antones, like what what venue is more family for us than Antones? Um, you know, it was just Clifford's birthday the other day, and you know, for a lot of us who knew him, and like he was such a an amazing person and helped our, my career when I was young. Uh, he introduced me to Jimmy Vaughn. He actually introduced me to Robert Rodriguez once, but that's a different story. Um, but anyway, uh, Antones was a choice. I mean, that was the move for us because, you know, having, you know, 
the family. We're part of the family. So that's how we settled on Antone's. Rockefeller's is definitely our family in Houston. So um, that's just how it went. So hold on a second. Uh, favorite color of the show? Why was it Steamboat? Wait, what? <laughs> All right. Man, Robert Redfield. How you doing, dude? Man, my phone, I wish it was so small. It wasn't so small. Um, my favorite Colorado show, and why was it Steamboat? No, my favorite Colorado shows... I have to say, obviously, our little bear in Evergreen. It's a great place. Anyway, uh, I feel like I'm just kind of rambling and squinting at my phone. Um, guy went to college with my dad. Wow. I met you in L.A. All right. Anyway, I'm just kind of rambling and squinting at my phone right now. And uh, so I think it's a good place to, to cut this off. But um, I just want to say that I love you all. Can't wait to see you all as soon as I can. Um, hopefully touring nationwide will be an option sooner than we think. Um, hopefully next spring, but I mean, I just try not to get my hopes up too much. So, um, love y'all. Have a safe night. Stay safe. And we'll see you on the other side of it. So, hopefully, also, Houston, Austin. See you soon. Now I don't know how to shut this thing off, man.